fresh pretzels aren't widely eaten here, so she'll have some persuading to do to introduce this Bavarian snack to Britain. She may make them from where she lives in Lancashire, but to her, they taste of home. When you eat my pretzels, close your eyes and you will see the mountains, you will hear the cowbells, and to me, that's the essence of Bavaria. She currently sells at local markets, but would like to grow. It's a straightforward, fast process. The ingredients are fairly cheap to get hold, but at the moment I'm producing still on such a small scale. I made a couple of thousand pounds. I've got a really, really good product, which is absolutely undervalued in the UK. You have to go a long way for getting a pretzel as good as mine. To judge for herself and talk business, Nisha visited her at home. Hello. Hello, Angelica. Nice to meet you. This is where the magic happens, then? Uh, yeah, more or less. How many pretzels do you make in a batch here? Uh, in one batch, usually around 60. Wow. 50 to 60. I won't get more in my freezer. That's the problem. She starts with a basic dough of water, yeast, oil and flour, which is mixed and kneaded. Where do pretzels sit in the German psyche? Is it like a packet of crisps? It's very common to have them as snacks on the go. Or a pretzel and beer, that is such an iconic thing. We say it's a, a marriage made in heaven. Next, the dough is rolled and shaped. I leave a bigger, thicker part in the middle, thin out the arms, and then you take two sides and you just swing them round. But that's very Bavarian already. How important is this shape for the pretzel? If it's not looking like that, it's not a pretzel. So we've got the big, thicker belly, the thinner arms, and the hands. It was a religious symbol in the past, just reminding people, hey, people, don't forget to pray. One shaped, Angelica firms the dough in the freezer before the next and most dangerous stage. So, I need my goggles uh -huh. for protecting myself, and then I use some gloves. Lye, or sodium hydroxide, is a drain cleaner, but here it reacts with carbon dioxide to give the surface of the pretzels a shiny brown sheen. How is it OK to eat this? Once it's heated up over 50 degrees, it's absolutely, totally harmless. It's a traditional method, as is sprinkling with rock salt before baking in a recently acquired professional oven. I was looking for a low-risk business where you don't have to invest in big machinery. So with baking, that is very low risk. You can start on a small scale. My husband was earning enough money to give me the freedom to, to do something and see how far I can take it. And to my surprise, it, it went better than I expected. 